we got to wonder how the hell we going to pay for food, how I'm going to put, uh, get my daughter some shoes or some clothes or, right, all of these um, needs that you have on a daily basis, you can't think about, well, I need to go spend 30 hours, you understand me, learning stocks, or I need yeah. to understand how to set up my trust, right, so that I can have something to pass down, because you don't think you're going to have anything to pass down in the first place, mm. you understand me, you can't pass down a job, or you can't pass down a paycheck that's only two weeks, that's only covering your bills, and then the next day, you got to worry about how to figure it out, so at the end of the day, right, the job mindset, as, you know, people say that, just over broke, you understand me, um, and at the end of the day, you know, it's not really broke because as long as you're working, you're not broke. You understand me? Broke is something that doesn't work. So I respect anybody that works a job yeah. because I think that we're getting lazier in society in one way. But in the other way, it's just that we have decided not to put our bodies in a job market that we know won't build us well, that we know mm. won't make us Right? So it's two folds to this. The people that work jobs, I respect you for this reason, is the fact that you have a work ethic. Right? Now... There's a lot of people today that have no work ethic, but they feel entitled as if society needs to spoil them. And that's why we can go to a welfare state where you just want the government to take care of you. You understand me? You never want to do for self. So those who work double jobs, I think they have the energy, but they work in um, with the wrong idea of where we are in society. Like we're not a hard working society anymore in order to get wealth. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, I put earlier, there's effectiveness versus efficiency, right? A person working two, two jobs, they're being effective in maximizing, right, the energy to try to get more money, right? If I trade my money for you, you manage my, my, my energy, and then I get paid for that, from mm -hmm. facilitating my energy for your dream, your goals, your business, your vision, whatever. So two jobs is effective because that's what you know how to do best. So I'm effective at that. I'm going to get money by working as many jobs, putting many hours, trade all my time for money. Mm -hmm. But it's not efficient because efficiency is going a further distance in a shorter amount of time. Right? Mm. So when you want to be efficient, then that's when you talk about skill base. Right? That's when you talk about creative base. Right? Like, I believe that, number one, it, ain't, it, 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 go, it went from hard work if I put in 40 hours per week, and I said this earlier that we only got 12 hours in a day and a person asked me to explain, it's just simple the fact we only got 12 hours in a day. You understand me? You got day and you got night. So if you give a person your whole entire day, you understand me? Then you work two jobs. You don't have no days left for yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So that's not life whatsoever, right? It's mm -hmm. a slave to your bills and your needs. And we live in a society, especially those who live in America, but even across the world, if you got the internet, and you got social media, then you have a resource and tool that means that you can possibly make a million dollars a year. Like, that's a possibility, mm -hmm. right? Like, as long as if you got a phone and there's other people doing it, it shows you you can do it. Mm -hmm. So you got two jobs. Those are the people that's effective. Now, the people on the other side that say, you know what? You like me. I fired my job. You understand me? Mm -hmm. I decided I wanted to be my own boss. And I didn't need a boss at that time. You understand mm -hmm. me? Because they could not afford me, right? Mm -hmm the quickest way to add value to yourself is to learn something new. Yeah. Right. That's the quickest way. The quickest way to add value to others is to teach them something they didn't know or to remind them of something that they mm -hmm. already know that they don't do. You understand me? So the two job people versus the people that utilize skill sets where you can be sitting right here and you just got to sell that click and ring or you making money in your sleep. Those are different people that are maximizing their effectiveness. And then there's the other people that's maximizing their efficiency. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So my stock portfolio is going to operate based on my skills and my management of it. Mm -hmm. My crypto portfolio is going to operate based on my skills and my management of it. But that doesn't mean I have to spend all my time managing it. I can manage it for one hour mm -hmm. based on, you know, uh, 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 my, my knowledge and my research and understanding of it. Mm -hmm. But that can pay me for 10 years. Mm hmm. Right? That's different. There's nobody, you're not going to go to a job where you work one hour and then they pay you for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's impossible to match that level of efficiency. Mm -hmm. So we live in a society where the smart people already created the smartphones, the smart internet, the smart blockchain. Then you got to figure out how to be the most creative. And mm -hmm. that's mental work. You understand me? Like, 
the sister that got on and said she do consultations, that's mental work as well, but it's also time based. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a reason that I don't be doing consultations because that's a lot of time yes. and a lot of mental energy yep. that I will be given. And I literally feel like I work for that person. You are my boss that's for that right. time I am working for you. Mm -hmm. Right? So if that time, in, and if I'm not enjoying it, or I feel like I have to be there because I'm contracted to, mm -hmm. right? Then I feel like a slave because that's against my own will. Yep. I can't control my own time. Yep. So I'm a slave to this contract at that moment that we're contracted to do it. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe that we're meant to be job workers per se. I think we're meant to be job creators, mm -hmm. right? Like, and, and if we change the way we think, right? And this is for everybody. Like you can easily create a job and this is what most people would never think about. How do I create jobs instead of how do I work a job? When you start mm -hmm. thinking about how to create a job, you think about how to be a service to others. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And not so that we can work the type of jobs as you talked about the school system that sets us up to uh, um, uh, push our energy into an economy. You understand me? To where, you know, the school system is probably and I don't want to get too off topic. I'm, I'm going to stay on this two job thing. But nah, let's get, up, let's get it. Let's get it. I love it. You know, it's high frequency <laughs> here, bro. They got to be here. It's high frequency. I'm going to send you for last, man. <laughs> the, the school system is the reason we get this job mentality, right? Because, right, the school doesn't prepare you to own your own school, right? Mm -mm. It doesn't say that, hey, you know, you know, you don't need a, a high school degree or a college degree to open a high school or a college. Mm 